right, you guys, so I am back with another video for you guys, okay? So I've been getting posed a lot of questions about this whole name change and everybody is like so concerned because we are in the, like, in the midst of application season and people are applying through CASPA for all of these different PA programs and now, boom, we're hit with this name change, okay? And so what does that mean for our CASPA application? That is what I'm gonna be answering in today's video. What's up you guys, it's Sedan and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so yes, I know, I know you guys, uh, we have a name change, a lot of us are happy, we're feeling good, um, but some of us are like chattering and biting our teeth and we're so nervous because, you know, what does that mean for my application that I have been working on, that I am trying to send out? Um, do I need to kind of do all of this over again? And that is one of the questions that was asked to me. So Maddie B said, do I have to redo all my CASPA stuff then? And she was asking this in respect to the fact that our profession has now changed its name from the physician assistant profession to the physician associate profession, but we're still PAs, okay? Um, and so Maddie, if you haven't seen like my previous video, um, I talked about more specifically this with respect to your personal statement. But now as we are kind of continuing to just kind of get in the midst of CASPA and people are still asking me these questions, I wanted to address the fact that no, you don't have to redo all of your CASPA stuff, okay? Now, what does that mean? Like a lot of things through CASPA as you're, you know, going in, it's for PA school and it still remains for PA school, okay? Um, just because the assistant is now associate does not mean now you need to go through and like delete everything that says assistant or, you know, you have to make a whole new CASPA application. No, there is going to be a lot that goes into this name change and it's going to take time, you guys. Um, this is just something that's fresh and new and exciting for us because it's like, okay, yeah, you know, I think this more closely is associated with what we do as practice practitioners as PAs out in the field. But that doesn't mean as a pre-PA student applying to PA school that your CASPA application now changes and you have to spend a whole new, you know, 179 to apply to all of these programs that you just applied to because their name, the name has changed. Because better believe that their name hasn't changed yet either, okay? So a lot of these programs are still gonna have to change their signage and all their verbiage to either just say, um, you know, physician associate school um, or a school of physician associate medicine or whatever the case may be. Um, and then all of their verbiage and vernacular that they're using in at probably um, anything that they're sending out there, they're likely probably gonna just leave it as PA because that is what CASPA, um, that's what APA has been putting out. You know, it's all about being a PA. Okay. So Maddie, um, don't, don't be nervous. Have no fear. This does not mean that you have to change everything on your CASPA application. Um, you guys, this is going to take time for everything to be implemented. Um, although we are happy and excited about this, a good majority of us, it will take time. It'll take time for us to get used to it. Uh, it will take time for patients to get to, used to it. It will take time for our attendings and physicians to get used to it and the rest of the healthcare scope. And so with that being said, just continue to do what you've been doing. If you are applying to PA school this year, go through and apply as you would regularly do. Um, if you really have any questions or concerns about this, call the school directly, um, call CASPA directly. Uh, I'm sure CASPA is being flooded and inundated with questions about, hey, what does this mean for my CASPA application now? And I'm pretty sure that the answer is still the same. It means nothing, nothing changes at this moment in time because everything is still new and fresh. So <laughs> you need to just go ahead and apply like you normally would. Um, and if you are concerned about you know, your personal statement or anything that you have to reference the PA profession in your CASPA application, I made a video on that. So you can check that video out. But I also just suggest that you kind of use the acronym, the PA, okay? 
All right, you guys. I hope this gives you guys a little bit more um, ease on your anxiety that you may be feeling about this whole um, name change and what it means moving forward for applications and things like that. Um, I do suggest again that you read up on it. Go to AAPA's website to see if there's any new information in the upcoming months about the name change and what that means for the profession so that when or if you do get asked this question on your interview, you have something to say. All right. Okay, Maddie, thank you so much for this question. It was great. Uh, and I know a lot of you had that same question, so hopefully I answered it for you guys. If you guys have other questions relating to the name change or just in general PA or just me, um, go ahead and leave those comments and questions in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adam the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.